Hello everyone, this is Leo from Generates Press and Generates Blocks. In this video, we will do a walkthrough of the grill template from our site library. It's a very simple site tailored for restaurants and bars with three unique menu layouts built in. and a contact form. The layout is built with generates blocks and this site has no additional CSS. Let's get started. The homepage starts with a container block followed by a grid wrapper with two 50-50 containers in it. Inside the first container, we have four headline blocks followed by a buttons wrapper with two buttons in it. This is linked to a clickable phone number. And the first button links to the menu page. The second button links to the contact page. The second container has a custom HTML block, which has an iframe link in it, and that's the map you see here. And I'll show you how to grab this link from Google. So once you search for your location, click on the map, go to share, embed a map, and you can choose the default size here or use a custom size. Once you decide the size, just copy HTML and paste it directly in the custom HTML block. The second container is also very simple. That's a container with two headline blocks in it. Both are center aligned. The image is uploaded as the container background image. Next, let's look at the first menu page. We will start with a container again. So that's only this part here. Inside of it, we have a grid wrapper followed by two containers. The first one has a static image and occupies 75% of the width. The second one occupies 25% with a headline in it. The overlapping effect is achieved by setting negative left margin on the second container. Moving on to the second container. So this one, we again have a grid wrapper followed by six containers. The first one occupies 80%. And of course, the second one occupies 20%. Each of them only has a headline block in it. Keep in mind that you can add all the containers underneath the same grid so you can manage them easier in the mobile responsive view. The third section here is just the reverse of the first section here. So again, the overlapping effect is achieved by setting the negative left margin on the second container. Let's move on to the next menu layout. So this page only has one main container. And inside the container, we have a grid wrapper that covers the six containers you see here. Then inside each container, we have another grid wrapper that separate the image 
and the item price and description. Another way to build this layout and structure here is to use a single grid wrapper followed by multiple containers that are 25% each. Personally, I find having a second grid wrapper makes it easier to modify and visualize. Let's take a look at the last menu layout. So this page, again, we have a container to start, followed by a grid wrapper. Inside the grid wrapper, we have two long containers that are 50% in width each. And inside each container, for this one, we start with a headline block, followed by another grid wrapper that separate the left hand side and right hand side using 85 and 15% split. The same goes for the other side as well. Let's take a look at the contact page quickly. It only has a contact form in it, and the form is coming from Happy Forms. Let's move on to the element. So the first one, we have a global hero. It has a container followed by a headline. The container background image is the feature image of each post or pages. The headline here is using dynamic text title. And this is assigned to the entire site. So you can see that in all pages here. The second element here is a hook element that adds the secondary navigation to after header hook. We need to do this in order to move the secondary menu below the page hero. So the page hero is also hooking to generate after header, but we're using priority 15 here, so it goes after the page hero. This is used in the menu pages. Lastly, we have a layout element that's setting the contact page to 700 pixels in width. So this page is narrower than the other pages. This menu here is added as a footer bar custom menu. Quickly show it here. And again, this site has no additional CSS. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.